So uh, here we are with uh, the beginning of my 2.4 gigahertz project. Uh, what I have here is uh, an XTEC BR200 boroscope. I actually won this from uh, planetxtech.com. Check them out. They uh, have all kinds of giveaways. I've gotten actually a fair bit of stuff out of them. Um, what this is is a boroscope for examining well, just about anything you want. Uh, there's my hand over the lens. You can see there's a camera at the end of the wand with an LED light that you can vary the intensity and then uh, shows up on the screen where you can uh, record it in uh, still captures or video. Uh, what it has a neat little feature is it works wirelessly. This runs on 2.4 gigahertz. It has uh, four channels, which is the standard uh, for uh, wireless video. And uh, the only thing it's lacking is an external antenna. So uh, what I did is uh, I did a quick range check on this and uh, checked to see how far I could go with it uh, within the house. Actually, it goes one heck of a long way, surprisingly. Um, what I plan on doing is uh, take this uh, D-Link router, and uh, this thing died long ago, and I'm going to take the antenna from here and see if I can transplant it into here. I haven't even had this apart yet, so I have no idea what kind of antenna it has, but there is no external. I'm guessing it's either going to be a ribbon or an onboard. don't think it'll be a problem to add that in. And then... Uh, well, sky's the limit after that. Lots of uses for this little thing. It's completely wireless, uh, standalone recording, video channels, uh, micro SD card, and video outs. So it's a really nice little receiver unit. So if you have a wireless security camera, uh, this would make a really nice little receiver. The wireless security cameras are dirt cheap now, like under $5 for uh, one right out of China. So. Uh, it's a receiver that tends to cost you a little bit of money in the interfacing, but uh, this is a really, really, really good screen. It's a little washed out right now just due to the uh, intensity of the LED light. Let's see if I can turn that down a smidge. And then you get basically, yeah, it's still a little washed out. But uh, yeah, works uh, really good. That's off. But uh, yeah, if you wanted to cruise around and check out wireless signals in your neighborhood from uh, all kinds of CCD cameras, etc., that would make a pretty good little unit to try it out. So I think I'm going to uh, pull it apart and see if I can uh, hack in a, a decent antenna. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to run it externally yet. I have to see if I have any small coax, like a laptop, Wi-Fi card, coax, etc., or whether I can just do a short enough conductor to uh, T-rate out the outside. Anyway, um, more to come. So here we are with the case open. <clears throat> this is the antenna that exists. It's actually a lot better antenna than what I thought it would be. I'm actually quite impressed. It's just a chunk of coax, but uh, yeah, it's better than a lot of things. So uh, here's the inside of the uh, the unit. There's the battery pack. And uh, here's the uh, antenna that I'm going to, the antenna jack that I'm going to be putting in there. I left the chunk of circuit board on there, actually. Uh, it's going to make it easier to mount. And uh, yeah, punch it through, drill the hole. It fits underneath the circuit board, and uh, now all I have to do is solder up some wires and hook it up. That'll be the end of that. What I'm actually going to try, <coughs> this is an experiment, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out. I'm going to sister this one up with the existing antenna. I'm not going to remove it. I don't think. Uh, I might. Don't know yet. I might sister it up and just see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen with two antennas in parallel. I'm guessing... Actually, I have no idea. I'm, I have a, a record of how far I uh, recorded the signal strength already, so worst case scenario, I can just give it a try and see what it does. and uh, I can always unhook one or the other, so give it a try. So here we are with the, uh, <clears throat> I got the antenna jack mounted, and uh, all I did was use some PC wiring for now, just to uh, do a proof of concept. So what I did is I did sister it up with the existing antenna. Um, 
I'll switch this wire out for uh, some coax. I've got an old laptop with a Wi-Fi card, and it's got nice small little tiny coax for uh, 2.4 gigs. So, anyway, what I did, <laughs> it's uh, here we are uh, hooked up to the wire wireless through the boroscope. Uh, I just walked around the house and I mounted the antenna. The difference is actually quite remarkable. Uh, I took it to the point where this was fading out from uh, lack of signal, tapped on the uh, antenna, came back full strength, could go back another 30-40 feet in the house. That's taking into account I'm not changing the transmit power at all. I'm only changing the antenna for the receive. Uh, remarkable difference. I'm actually <laughs> tickled even with unshielded wire running right next to and sistered with an existing antenna. The difference is uh, huge. We're, we're talking many, many feet compared to like way beyond line of sight. So if you're actually holding on to the boroscope and scoping something, this thing will go way beyond that. So uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch out that coax, bolt it back together, and uh, maybe give it, a, give it a try, see if I can pick up some wireless cameras out and about, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, this will segue into... Uh, I'll do some videos on some of the new things that I got coming. The uh, I have a USB uh, uh, DVT DVB dash T, which is uh, designed for um, receiving PAL or NTSC, I guess, uh, transmissions in Europe, uh, TV transmissions, and uh, that I'll be turning into a software-defined radio. And then I also have a USB stick for the 2.4 gig range. But I wanted to do some uh, playing with this first, and uh, yeah, some some neat little hacky type uh, repurpose an old uh, an old router antenna and a uh, huge huge improvement. I'm I'm just tickled with this. So anyway, thanks for watching.